Hey, we're back. Hello everyone, she like Phantom One here. And today we will be doing something, again, a little bit different. I am actually one back in my studio, so thank goodness. It is also 100 degrees in here though. So if I start to look kind of clammed or, you know, hot, that's why. I've mentioned on the channel a couple times that I love writing and I'm a very creative person. I actually started writing when I was very young, but I got into script writing in the last few years. And I thought it would be really fun to look over my very first script that I ever wrote. This was the first one that I ever wrote down. And actually it was supposed to be like a stage play or like a movie script. I'm not really sure that I knew what I wanted, but this is what I wrote down. It's supposed to be a comedy spoof, like horror movie. And also there's gonna be a lot of spelling errors. This was years ago. I'm a little bit better at writing now, I would say. So let's jump in and this might be a long one, so enjoy. Screen is gonna be split with me over here reacting and the screen over here and I'm looking at it as you guys are. So the screenplay was actually called, and we're just gonna call it a screenplay. Screenplay was actually called Not Another Horror Movie. Scene one, Thomas House. Okay, I didn't spell scene right, but that's okay. Scene opens on Thomas and Kelly cuddled up watching movie on sofa. That's, we're already having issues. Kelly, are we still on for going to the cabin this summer? Yeah, but Thomas, you really want to go to that dusty old cabin? Come on, Kelly, it won't be that bad. There's a lake, canoes, no locks on the windows. What? Nothing passes popcorn to Kelly awkwardly. See, that scene, I knew exactly what I was going for too. It was, it was supposed to be kind of like a subtle joke, but I feel like that was quite on the nose, actually. Samantha walks in from left stage. See, this is the direction I was talking about. I don't, I think I was thinking a play instead of like a movie set, but I don't, I don't think I knew. I think I went with One Direction, but it was also kind of difficult to know stage directions. I was very new at skip writing. What are you two fighting about now? Joins others on the couch. Just your brother's stupidity. Well, that's a short subject. Jokingly elbows Kelly. It's kind of a mean sister. Thank you, Sam, so helpful. Just with a pillow. Well, it's working because we're fighting. I know, throws a piece of popcorn in mouth happily. Oh my gosh, this is just, I don't, it's all over the place. Thomas and Kelly look over at Samantha angrily. What? Never mind. let's just forget it. Sits back on sofa. I don't even remember what happened. I know they got in a fight. That's like, if I was reading this in a book, I literally don't remember what happened in the last few minutes. I just, I, I missed, I was like reading this, but I didn't absorb anything that just happened. Thomas's car. So Thomas, how long does the drive to the cabin gonna be? About an hour or so. Ugh, can we stop soon? I have to use the bathroom. Really, Kelly, can't you hold it? Looks annoyed at Kelly. That's Chase, by the way. This doesn't look right. Joshua looks back at Samantha. It's a gas station, Sam, not the Four Seasons. Now, I thought that was clever. I, I thought it was clever. No, guys, Sam's right. I heard about this place. I don't know how you just pulled up to it. Everyone enters the gas station. Ew, what's that smell? Maybe it's the sewer pipe or something. They walk to the back room. This is creepy. Where's the owner? I wanted to go check on Samantha. Samantha and Kelly scream. Kelly, what's wrong? What happened? There's blood in the bathroom. Well, if it's a girl's bathroom, guys, I mean, ew. So I made one of those jokes. Shut up, Chase. Is it like in the toilet? No, it's all over the walls. There's writing on the mirror. What did you say? Or what did it say? It said, I'm back. Oh, hell no. Uh, guys, what's that? Points to shadow in the corner. Thomas, please, let's go. Guys, let's go. Joshua trips on rock, falling to the ground, hitting his head on a rock. Everyone jumps in the car, not knowing about Joshua. Wait, where's Joshua? Wait, what? He, he was right behind me a second ago. Dude, where is he at? Oh, there he is. He's just napping in the sand next to that rock. He tripped over a rock, a rock that does not kill you. He's milking it. Godspeed, Joshua, Godspeed. Chase was really ready for him to die. For the love of, we can't just leave him out here dead or not. Okay, they really just accepted. Their friend was just gone. No one is even batting an eye that he might still be alive. Kelly and Thomas are in a fight. Their car breaks down and now we're into act two. 
Our scene opens with Chase, Emily, Kelly, and Thomas carrying Joshua walking on an abandoned road. How much further do you think it is? If I knew, don't you think I would tell you? Calm down, Thomas. We're all tired. Drinks from water bottle. Easy for you to say when you're not carrying another human. Do you want me to help? No, no, I'm fine. I'm not. You can take my spot. What is your problem, Thomas? I'm tired and lost. Thomas, it was your idea to come out here in the first place. Come on, guys. No, let's get this out now. This is the time right now in front of everybody in this abandoned road when we got other issues. I fault that we're out here. You're the one who suggested we leave the car. You know what? Screw you, Tom. This was before I was comfortable with cursing in my scripts. Screw you. Really, we're doing this? We already started it, Chase. I feel like we're already halfway there. I'll go talk to her. You too? That's just great. Next scene opens Chase, Emily, and Samantha asleep on the side of the road. Hey guys, wake up, tapping Emily on her side. What's wrong? How long have we been asleep? So they just passed out when the other two walked away. What's wrong? How long have we been asleep? I don't know, where's my, where's my Thomas? Where's Thomas maybe? And Kelly. Guys, I think we have a bigger problem. Chase, you okay? Joshua is gone. Branch and distance cracked. What was that? Thomas retreats out of the trees. Guys, there you are. What do you mean, there you are? You knew they were here. I can't find her. After I followed her into the woods to calm her down, she screamed, and when I turned around to see what happened, everything went black. And when I woke up, she was gone, and I was looking for you guys. Okay, well, that's just a whole lot of things going on. Well, that's just great. Kelly's gone. Josh is missing. Wait, where is Joshua? Why do they kind of go between saying Josh and Joshua? I probably should have just committed to one. Okay, so they find a cabin, blah, 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 blah. Screams echo from the cottage. Now it's a cottage instead of a cabin. Make up your mind. Um, There's some teens. One is our little group is murder. That's right. I don't know what that means. Um, do, 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 do. Okay. Okay, here we are. Inside the cottage, you see Thomas, Kelly, Sam, and Emily all tied up, leaning against a wall. Two teens in black robber masks, really original there, approach the tied up teens. Chase walks quietly over to the door, pressing his ear against the woods. Okay, so Chase is outside. These other ones are inside. Got to mention that. Joshua appears from the darkness. Oh, big shocker, the one guy who went missing and then suddenly reappears as the bad guy. <laughs> Oh no, Tommy boy. No, no, no. They work for me. What are you talking about, Joshua? You don't remember me, do you? Remember what? What the heck is going on here? It all start- oh, now he's gonna monologue. It all started last month when everyone was packing up for the summer to go on their spring break trips and hangouts. I was so nervous about asking you guys if I could come with you to the big spring break bash party at Kelly's house. You remember, don't you, Kelly? What this is all about because I didn't invite you to a stupid party? Yes, the, really? Is this the direction I went in? He didn't get invited to a party. This is like the Maleficent of situations. I mean, he didn't get invited, so like he has a, okay. Because none of you ever invited me to anything. Ever since Thomas started dating Kelly, everyone started hanging out with them and leaving me out of the group parties and leaving me behind. Till soon, everyone forgot about, well, they didn't clearly though, because you came on the trip with them. I became so angry I decided the only way to become to get back at you guys was to trick you all into thinking I was your friend. Dude, all this over a party? It's not about the party. It's about you guys always thinking you're better than everyone else, leaving me behind like that. That seems like a whole other issue. What do you want with us, Joshua? Um, well, you're gonna shoot. What were we gonna do again? We said something earlier that was really good, but I can't remember it now. Snaps his fingers, pacing around in front of him, or in front of them. The teens look at each other, then Joshua and shrug. This is dragging on for a long time. Chase backs up from the door and crawls to the back of the cabin. Think, Chase, think. Oh, perfect. Teens turn, cocking and pointing their guns towards the group. As the guns shoot, a loud bang echoes throughout the room. Everything goes silent. Thomas opens his eyes, breathing heavily. What, what happened? I did it, I guess. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Chase gets into the roof somehow. Not really sure. Gets to the group, they untie him. 
Uh, everything is good. Everything is saved. I don't know. And then they say that we're not going to talk about this anymore. And everybody's like, haha, that was funny. And then Chase is like, oh, guys, wait up. I like tacos. And let's not even talk about what just happened. And so, yeah, that was the end of the script. So that was my very first writing piece. It is really, really rough and it's all over the place, but I am so much better now. I have done two script series that actually make sense. And I know I'm really bashing on this, but you know, everybody's got to start somewhere. Even if it's the crappiest piece you've ever written, at least one, it's yours. And two, is it something that will get you to another point? You can't start knowing what you're doing. You have to start, learn, and then get to the point where you know what you're doing. Hope you guys got any enjoyment out of this. Sorry if the video was kind of long. I was trying to speed through stuff, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys are having a good day and stay awesome, guys. Bye. Wake up. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Wake up. Today's gonna be.